Hey everybody, what's going on? Adam Aggro here, and this is my third and possibly biggest episode of games I bought recently. I have 15 games to talk about, so let's get started. I actually went to our Goodwill, and our Goodwill normally doesn't have Jack, but I went the other day, and they had three Sega Genesis games, all awesome condition, all complete. We have Tiny Toons Adventures, Buster's Hidden Treasure, Sonic Spinball, which I have the cart for, but the box and manual are in such good shape that I have to get it again. And Disney's Aladdin, and I, I'm really happy I got this game because this is so different from the Super Nintendo version that it makes me happy. And, uh, and yeah, I went up to Play and Trade. They're doing the buy two, get one free, so I got a couple of Nintendo 64 games. Jet Force Gemini, I played it, I I rocked it, only with the the dude and the dog, but looking forward to playing that again. Banjo-Kazooie, I played it, I defeated it, but it's an awesome game. Banjo-Tooie, I didn't actually hear about this till this year, so I look forward to playing this one for sure. Yeah, the stickers on it bother me, but what can you do? The price was awesome, especially compared for what they're going for on Amazon. And I decided to get two sets from Play and Trade. So I also got the X Files game for the PS1. It's a four disc. Just this thing will take over your life. Fun, fun stuff. Check that out if you're into that stuff. I should have got all the VHSs out to show you guys. Maybe next time. I also got Lara Croft's Tomb Raider Legend. Haven't seen any dinosaurs yet. So, but I guess if I want to shoot dinosaurs, I could just play Turok. And my free one with that was Chibi Robo for the GameCube, which the captain is going to be sad about. I haven't had a chance to play this one yet, but it looks fun. And I had this in the mail because Sinister Cobra has been playing a lot of Guitar Hero games. Sinister Cobra, right there. You can click that if you want. Check out his stuff. But wait till my video is over. So I'll put it over there as well. But I decided to get Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock for the PlayStation 2 because it's the only system I have a guitar shaped controller thingy for. I didn't buy this originally because I just I thought that they wouldn't even bother updating the graphics because it came out on the newer consoles and the boss battles look really stupid. And they are. But hey, I wanted to, to shred and needed some new material. So I got this. And I went to Toys R Us. They had a buy one, get one half off. So I got King of Fighters 11. And uh, I got the King of Fighters 11. Same sprites that they've always had. But, you know, what can you do? 12 is coming out, so after playing this, I'll be prepared. Which I got from Toys R Us. And with that half off, I got Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. This game's pretty cool. Same same graphics as King of Fighters 11 over there, but this has all the all your favorite characters from the Neo Geo system. Characters from Metal Slug, King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown, Fatal Fury. They're all in here, and it's really cool. Cool head-to-head -head fighter. Everyone's so different, as you can imagine. And it's a lot of fun until you get to the boss, where you should just stop and pretend the game's over, because it's better off. <clears throat> I got, uh, in the second set, I got a games. I got Rondo of Swords. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna tell you my feelings about this game, and you're not really gonna like it. This game is the biggest piece of shit. <coughs> Put it away, Adam. Put it down. I can't wait to sell this. This is YouTube. Show some class. But with the good come the bad, or with the bad come the good, I guess. Because with that, I bought Boing Tokomodake. This game is is so much fun. Definitely my favorite game that I bought out of this this pack. You see. Great puzzle platformer based on a on a character that represents a cell phone company. I decided to get this 
thanks to uh, Retrocalypse and Splatter Trigger. And I'm really glad that I checked this out. This game is a lot of fun. If you have a DS and you like puzzle platformers, definitely, definitely check this game out. And the final one, I'll tell you a little story. The captain was over here the other day when he was talking about the Zompocalypse. And he mentioned to me that his GameCube was finally pooping out. And that he was looking for another one. <coughs> so when I was at our Goodwill, when I found the uh, Sega Genesis games, I found a Nintendo GameCube. And it had all the plugs and an unofficial controller, all for 30 bucks. Works great. Was really happy to find it. So I called him up, said, hey, I'll buy this for you if you pay me back. It's $30. He said, oh, yeah, I'm good for it. And uh, I, I didn't mention to him that inside of this was Pikmin in awesome condition. The disc is in great shape. So I basically got Pikmin for the Game Boy. Game Boy, not Game Boy, but this thing, whatever this is called. A little help here? GameCube. GameCube for free. That's awesome. I'm sure the captain is watching this and is like, hey man, I want that, but screw you. You already have it anyway. So that's my 15th game. And that wraps it up. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. If there's any game you want to see more of or maybe gameplay of, you know, let me know. Do I have time to, to talk about my accessory? Okay. I was talking about getting the Nyko perfect shot. So, I got it. It's pretty cool. I got this for House of the Dead 2 and 3. Return. It's really light. It's not as steady as the, uh, the Zapper. The Zapper. Because, you know, you got such good control on the Zapper. But... You know, it still works. It's pretty cool. Reloading is a snap with this. As you can imagine, you know, it's it's pretty good. You can hold it with two hands to get a little more little more accuracy. But I don't know, it just doesn't it doesn't have the, the good control, but it's still fun. And people who, who complain that I only have one gun can no longer complain because I have two. So can I say suck on it? Suck on it! Alright, well that's all that I have time to go over right now. But, yeah, I'm definitely happy with the haul. Aside from Rondo of Swords, who cares? This this box art just pisses me off to no end. Put it down. I'm not a big fan of keeping games I don't like, so that's definitely on the, uh, the must-sell list. Well... I'll see you next time. Hey, if you guys don't rate or subscribe, I'm never going to be able to beat Tom Morello. <laughs>